serving the Lord in a field that is that is not your home can be lonely. It can be isolating. It can be difficult. And there is a need to be refreshed, a need to be rejuvenated. If the Lord needed to comfort the Apostle Paul's heart in his work, what about us? And we think of William Carey who said, I will go down, that is down into the pit of darkness with the gospel. I will go down if you will hold the ropes for me. And that's what we want to do as churches, holding the ropes for missionaries. So as we face the realities of the world around us, the awful task of the warfare set before us in the culture, the difficulties that many of you have in your own churches, let Paul, by the Spirit, speak to you how to conduct yourself in your ministry. By God's mercy, persevere in your awful. And by God's grace, preach the truth to the conscience of the people in the sight of God. The Reformed Baptist Network seeks to glorify God through fellowship and cooperation in taking the Great Commission to the ends of the earth. This practically means that we strengthen one another by iron sharpening iron fellowship. We pray for one another by taking our needs to the throne of grace. We endorse missionaries together so that we can send them to the ends of the earth. We also plant churches together with a common biblical blueprint to be able to come and gather together with brothers and sisters who have a like precious conviction. It's a glorious thing. It's, it's, it's eye brightening. It's like the, the honey to the spear tip for Jonathan. And that's what this GA is to many of us. God does not accept us because we've done the holiness thing. We do the holiness thing because God has accepted us, because He has adopted us. And it frees us to pursue holiness, genuinely pursue holiness. The other way around, we're not pursuing holiness, we're actually pursuing self-righteousness, which is not holy. Some have felt that sovereignty, if you emphasize that, it will kill evangelism, and in Paul's case, it inspired his evangelism. I have many people in this city, and it is with this statement to Paul that he stayed for another year and a half preaching the gospel in the city of Corinth. This year at the General Assembly, we continue to grow as a network of churches. We're approaching about 70 churches now. If you'd like to be a part of the Reformed Baptist Network, we have a General Assembly next year, third week of September. It'll be in Riverside, California. I encourage you to come on along to this festival so you can head back to your little Bethlehem, having been in Jerusalem.